Hey, hi, hello everyone. So today, this is the final look, but today we are testing out, as you can tell by the title, the House Labs system. So here I have the Triclone Skin Tech Concealer, whatever they call it, in the shade 24 Light Medium. I also have the new concealer brush that dropped with the concealer, obviously, as well as the loose setting powder. This is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent, and this is really cool because it has the netting on it. Don't understand why the lid had to be that big, but there it is. So these are the three products that we're going to be testing out today. We're going to be using different ap application methods, i.e. a sponge and a brush, and for the powder we'll be using a brush and a puff. So if you want to see this concealer used in different ways, this match, how it blends, just keep on watching. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start playing with these House Lab products like I mentioned in the intro. So I have the concealer here. This is the House Labs... Oh, it doesn't say what the name of it is. It's the House Labs Concealer, the Triclone Skin Tech Concealer, whatever, whatever. I have mine in the shade 24 Light Medium, and in this component, there are seven milliliters of product. I really like the components, and this is my first time taking the wand out. I've heard that the wand is a little bit too big for the tube, and it was a little bit of a struggle to take it out and you do kind of have to push to put it back in. But this is the doe foot, and that is the shade. It looks like it's gonna be a good match. So with that, I also have the concealer brush. This is just the House Labs concealer brush. And I also have the loose powder. So this is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. In here you get seven grams of product, and it is a netted powder where you push down. So these are the products we're going to be trying today. For the concealer, we're going to try one side with a sponge and one side with the brush. I forgot the application methods there. And then for the powder, we'll do one side with a puff and one side with a brush. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing I want to mention is that for primer today, I used the Embrolis La Creme Concentre as primer. So let's go ahead... We're gonna do the brush side first because I forgot to wet my sponge. Okay, so let's see. I should probably position a mirror so I can see. Since you have a little bit of dark circles, but I don't usually wear a lot of concealer. So I'm just gonna apply this in the normal spot that I apply concealer. If the dough foot, for some reason, it feels kind of dry, like obviously there's product on it, but it feels kind of dr like a dry sensation. I think that's going to be a really good match. Wow, shout out to me. All right, so let's do this side with the brush. I hope this works. Okay, here we go. It kind of fits perfectly in the under eye area, and I'm stippling. The shade might be one shade too dark in person. On camera, it looks like it's blending in perfectly. In person, I feel like it might be a touch too dark. But maybe when the rest of the face is done, it probably will look more than okay. So that was the easiest way to blend in concealer that I've ever experienced. I am a complete novice when it comes to blending in concealer with a brush, and that was so easy. I think that was a record time for blending in a concealer with a brush for me. That's crazy. I'm just going to put a little bit more on this spot that I have here. It is... Okay, yeah, it's a little bit inconvenient to try and pull that out, but this spot is, um, oh, ew. It's just an acne scar that I hope will fade at some point. Wow, I can't get over how easily that blended with the brush. This brush is magic. Magic. 
Okay, let me go wet my sponge and then we'll do this side with the sponge just to see if there's any difference. Here we are with the dampened sponge. So we'll just go ahead and blend out this side. Oh, I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit because today is Tuesday, um, the day after the Sephora sale ended. And I'm kicking myself for not trying this during the sale so I could have got another brush. Hmm. I'm just too busy to test this concealer, unfortunately, while the sale was happening. All right. I feel like that also blended out really quick, really quickly with the sponge. Yeah, that looks really good with the sponge too. So I would say that's a success blending it with the concealer brush as well as a damp sponge. I didn't notice anything odd about the concealer. Some people are saying it's quite thick, but I didn't feel like it was that thick. And it's sitting really nicely on my skin. Let me turn my light on for a second just to see it with the light. Oh, that doesn't look too crazy. Yeah, it still looks great. And actually the shade match, once it's blended out, is quite perfect. I feel like I would maybe want to pair this with a little bit of a brightener. I think I'm just experiencing some dark circles right now. That covered and blended really nicely. My skin looks natural. It's just kind of like a, a soft matte natural finish. It's not caking up around my nose. It hasn't settled yet into fine lines. It looks really good. Let me turn that off again and let's move over to the powder. So again, first time trying the powder. I'm so excited. Again, this is in the shade Translucent. So I'm going to keep this as the brush side. So this is my typical powder brush. I'm just going to dip in a little bit to coat the brush and then tap off the excess. Okay. I'm really on the journey for a loose powder, so I hope this one's good. And with my powders, I always tap them in. I don't like swiping on my face. I usually try to tap. I'll do my nose with the brush and then my chin with the with the puff. Okay, so that definitely mattified. It doesn't look heavy yet. But we'll have to see what it looks like at the end of the routine because usually loose powders start looking heavy when I'm like about to spray my face at the end. So that's it with the brush. I like how that applied. Didn't catch in any area. So now let's try with a puff. I'm just going to push it in here. And it picked up some product. And let's start under the eye. The way a powder performs on my chin area is really the determining factor with the powder. Okay, so far it's sitting quite well. I will say this side looks more matte because I was really pushing in the powder with the puff, whereas this side you can kind of still see some glow to my skin, whereas it's less so on this side. Do you see I'm catching the glow here and there's not as much glow in here. But they both look great. Let me turn the light on to see. Mm. I mean, I'm not noticing anything, which for a loose powder, off to a good start because when I used the one size powder and even the Huda Beauty pressed powder. As soon as I put it on, I could like notice it. Right now I can't notice this. I would say we're off to 
a great start with both the powder and the concealer but let me finish up the rest of my face and then we'll come back for some final thoughts once the rest of the face is on because I feel like that's when things get time to settle so I'll be back in just a moment all right so here we have the finished look with the rest of my makeup on but let's talk about the concealer so before I put on my lower lash eyeshadow there was a little bit of creasing um, in my or settling into my creases however as you can see I put on lower lash eyeshadow so I don't care and also if you have lines things are going to settle in them so that is not a concern for me when you pull it down you can see there's a, a little bit of buildup in the creases but like I said I don't care the rest oh I did not blend this highlighter out Oh my god. Lord have mercy, almost had me out here looking a fool. Okay. In terms of the rest of the face, it looks really good. I did have to, you know, swipe away from my nose um, at one point because there was a little bit of settling in there too. But that's completely normal with all of my other concealers. Those are the main spots that it settles, especially on this side of my nose, not so much on that side. The chin. It looks pretty good. The powder looks pretty good. This looks great. The concealer, the brush, the powder, everything is sitting really, really well. I will try to do a check-in later today, but the sun sets at pretty much 2 p.m. now, so I'm not sure what the lighting situation will be. But as of right now, when I'm putting on my face, it is 8.30 am when i'm done my makeup i look very good i look really really good so if you see a check-in you're welcome if you don't see a check-in thank you guys so much for watching this first impressions using the new house labs system i shouldn't say new because the foundation and powder have been out for a while but the concealer and the brush and the powder i'm really impressed so far i wish i picked up another brush during this sale Ah, rats. I might have to check out her site during the Black Friday sale. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Like I mentioned, I am shade 24 light medium in the concealer if we are skin twins. My other concealer shades are extra lychee in the Coffee concealer. It's your forever correct is 2W and Pat McGrath is LM8. So those are some references for you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Alrighty, so we're just going to do a quick check-in before the sun sets. It's currently 4 p.m. So this has been on for just under eight hours, so about seven and a half hours. Looking at my mirror here, I can see that under my eyes it looks great, it looks normal. It does look a little bit matte, but I'm not opposed to that. However, around my chin area, especially like down here in this area, it does look a little bit powdery and cakey. Now this could be because I applied the powder there with a puff as opposed to a brush, but that is something I want to point out. I don't love it, but it's also not what's ruining my face because you can't see it. Um, it's just, if I'm looking up very, very close, it just looks a little bit powdery and dry. Not something that a hit of setting spray could fix, but it's also not detrimental to the look. So maybe if I applied with a brush on my chin, it would not be as bad. But that is a quick little seven and a half hour update of the House Labs concealer and powder.